So the first step in the list are these beautiful AOD notifications that not only show that a notification has come but also shows information as well as gives you an LED notification that's been missing on all of these phones including the Galaxy Note 20. It's called AOD Notify in the Play Store and you can download and install this for free. The app does offer a lot of customizations pertaining to the LED notification that comes around the camera edge as well as notifications that show information so their size, their position and their colors. So all of those things can be played around with. The next app in the list is called Wallpix that offers specifically made wallpapers for the Galaxy Note 20 and takes into consideration that notch and that notch is so perfectly placed in all these wallpapers. Now all these wallpapers are really high quality, they're super vibrant, the developer keeps adding more wallpapers and they're actually free. There's also a live section that offers a bunch of live wallpapers or animated wallpapers and I believe these would look really good on the lock screen. And guys before we move on, each one of you that subscribes to my channel really helps me sustain it and grow it even more. So if you could just show your support by dropping a like, hitting that subscribe button and that bell notification icon, that would do. Anyway, let's move on now. Now this third app in the list is definitely not a must have app but it's a really cool thing to see it happen on your phone every time you charge your phone. So every time you plug in the charger you get this x-ray vision of the insides of the phone and they're all in the form of these outlines of the components with the modules inside and it sort of looks really nice. It's called liquid teardown and you don't get too much customization except for changing the battery fill color and the battery percentage text color. All right, coming to the next one. Your Note 20 and the Ultra can take really high quality videos, but what happens when you share it on Instagram or as WhatsApp status or a WhatsApp video? The social media apps have their own optimization and that sort of destroys the quality and really pixelates it. That's when an app like Venlo comes into place. So let's say you've got that high quality video, click on share and now tap Venlo. Whatever trimming you need to do, do it within the Venlo environment and then let it process that video. Once it's complete, it will give you the option to share and now you can share it on pretty much any social media app uh, and the quality would be at its peak. It would be the highest quality possible, the most optimized as it can get. Try this for yourself and send both videos optimized and not optimized on WhatsApp and just look at the difference in quality. Now the thing with the Note 20 and the Ultra is that they're really big devices and calling the notification panel all the way from the top can get very difficult. So it's called bottom quick settings and it's got like a mind boggling number of customizations possible. But let me take you through the important ones. First is the placement of handles. By default, it's placed at the bottom, but I disabled the bottom handle and I enabled the left edge and the right edge. And then I repositioned them and reduced the size so that they're only in the bottom left and the bottom right. That way it does not conflict with the edge gestures that I have already installed on my Note 20 Ultra and I use that for navigation like going back and going to the home screen and so on. Now if you look at the uh, the panel it's got blue color and it's got these white tiles that show that they're active. I can actually go inside the colors section and there's like a bunch of options that are possible and you can even have an image if you want it. All right, you can't have a Samsung flagship phone and not have good lock installed on it. Good lock is like the best way to customize any Galaxy phone. It's got these individual modules. For example, with Lockstar, you can customize the lock screen, the kind of, you know, where you place multiple elements, the kind of wallpaper, the kind of clock, and the items that must be visible or must not be visible. And you can decide where these items should be placed within the lock screen to your liking. Then there is Quick Start that allows you to customize the notification panel. So for example, you know, you don't like the color that's already there, you can go ahead and change all of it. Like you can change the background color, the transparency, the active tile color, the inactive tile color. I mean, the possibilities are endless and see how cool it looks. So you don't have to always go and install a theme. You can pretty much have what you want. And then there is Task Changer that allows you to change the way your recent apps menu looks. So, you know, you can have this compact mini carousel sort of a thing, or you could go ahead and change the scrolling effect, you know, if you want something else. And then the layout type itself, for example, like go into slim list, maybe you find this easier, or maybe you find a grid easier. So it really depends on you. So go ahead and explore. 
The next app is called Concepts, which is a very comprehensive and feature-rich app for designing, sketching, and illustrating. It's just the way the app is structured. It's super easy to use, a lot of interactions, and it just makes working so much easier. For example, look at this color wheel. You get all the shades of all the colors. You've got all the brushes right over here. Very easy to access them, and the wheel makes it really interesting. Even if you just look at all the kind of brushes and tools that are available and you can make them as shortcuts in that wheel. There's a brush market that gives you a lot of brush options uh, in the kind of brushes you may want to use. For example, spray paints, pastels, pens, pencils, and so on. It's very easy to increase or decrease the transparency of your brush, the size of your brush, uh, and the, the pressure sensitivity of the brush as well. You can have layers and again, as many as you want if you've got a paid version. You can have your own kind of background grid. Uh, the artboard size could be a preset depending on what you're actually trying to make. Now the app is free for a couple of things, but if you want everything, then you've got a couple of uh, packages that you could subscribe to or just pay one off and get access. And that's it guys, those were seven apps I thought are really well suited for the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, if you liked the video, make sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button and that bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.